Hello everybody, Pat the Video Guy here from PelletSmokerGrill.com. How about we cook up a delicious ribeye on a Pit Boss Austin XL? Alright, so if you've seen my other videos, you know I love to eat meat and especially uh, bring out my uh, Pellet Smoker Grill. I found a ribeye on special and here's a little tip. If your local grocery um, local you know place where you get meat has a lot of meat out on the weekends check them out on Monday or Tuesday because what they didn't sell they probably had marked down and we had we just got done with a big ribeye um, special and they had a lot of different cuts and so I went in I think it was on I think it was Monday or Tuesday and this baby went from 1413 down to 847 so pretty good now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use my tools I'm gonna tenderize it and I found a great um, rub from Costco, see that? It's Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, see? Okay, and I'm gonna put that on there. So just just real quick, I don't make a major production out of this, I just I cut into it. And I like to uh, get rub or seasonings on my meat, usually the day before. Today, I'm doing this like about five hours before I plan on actually cooking it. See that hunk of meat? Get rid of that. That is about, that's probably a good inch inch, inch and a, inch and a quarter maybe. There, so first thing I do is get some holes in there. Okay, get my, here and then I sprinkle the rub on here. And we had some, I used the seasoning a little bit before, it's pretty good stuff. Again, got it from Costco. And we're just gonna flip this guy over. Move it over, and I, I usually keep, keep the con same container here. And the other side. And I get a good amount on there. All right. And then I just kind of pat it down a little bit. Kind of acts as the uh, you know the hand rub method there so this is good and I may just keep that keep that on there I'm gonna let me get the other wrap I'm gonna get this guy out here and just kind of rewrap that guy just like that real simple okay and then I'm gonna put that in the fridge and um, then when it's time to uh, do the get it on the grill, gonna do that. So we're gonna turn it off for now and we'll join you in a little bit. All right, so it's about time to eat. And so the first thing I did was pull the uh, steak out of the refrigerator and I kind of let that get to room temperature a little bit. It's not gonna be that long. Um, then uh, my Austin XL, I've got pellets in the hopper. I plugged it in. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spray those uh, grates. Because I don't like the meat to stick. And I just use Pam, no big deal. I don't, I don't use anything special. Some people may recommend that you do, I don't. And then, um, I'm going to turn it to smoke. Press the button. And the first sound that you're going to hear is the little fan that, that uh, starts up and then um, Next is that rod will get hot, pellets will start to get on there, and they'll ignite. This warm-up process takes about five minutes. What we're going to see is a lot of smoke come up out of there, and, and, um, and then that'll uh, blow on, and that lets you know that that part of it is done, and then I'll close the lid, and I'll crank the heat up. So it's real simple. So here we go, warming up. All right, that burnout period's done. Let's close the lid and crank this guy up to. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to 450, and it will take probably probably about eight or nine minutes to get there.
pull that guy off. Take a look at that. Now we go ahead, let's crank that down. Turn that to, I, I turn it all the way off. It will continue to kind of clear itself out. And I'll leave the, the uh, uh, door open here. Okay, now I'm going to let my steak rest oh, for about three to five minutes, so don't cut into it right away. Yum Ola! Now look at that. Doesn't it look amazing? Ribeye, I got my own spicy rice, and because it's not decadent enough as it is, we're going to take a little bit of butter and just put it right on there. That's crazy. Yeah, buddy things you need to do. All right. Now, how is it? How did it turn out? Let's take a look here and I'll do my best to show you what's going on. I let this rest about five minutes. Let's take a cut here. What do you think? Can you see that? That is just too good for words. Now, got some pink in there. Let's go ahead and put that, because my mouth isn't that big. Mm. I may need to be alone. That was just really good. Perfect. The rub was good. The cook on here is good. As you can see, we're getting char marks on here. My rice is going to be amazing. I'm going to add a salad to it. But that's how you cook a ribeye on a Pit Boss Austin XL. Real simple. And if you like this, I hope you'll, you'll uh, click the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll get you some more. Thank you, everybody. Check the links down below. There's got to be some bonuses or some links down there. Check out pelletsmokergrill.com, and we'll see you later. I, I, I've got to get back to this.